Hey guys, December 30th, and once again, I do apologize for constantly talking about speckles, but I'm constantly having people and people that I know bother me about speckles taking him to a no-kill shelter when he's 16 years old, and they want me to hand him over to strangers, and that's just so wrong on so many levels because he's going through so much already. He's just finally started eating today again, but he's still not really socializing. And then people want me to hand him over to a known kill shelter, and I'll probably never see him again, and I wouldn't know if he was doing any better. Like, seriously, people have got to stop being so stupid, because no-kill shelters don't necessarily mean that they're not, that they're going to live. I've talked to several vets already about Speckle's situation. They all told me to let him die in peace. If I have to take him to the SPCA to be put down, that's a better thing than taking him to a no-kill shelter. Because, like I said, I may never see him again. He's 16 years old. And he's going to go from home to home to home, and that's not fair, that's not right, and that's why I'm so pissed off, because I'm trying to celebrate New Year's with Speckles, and I've told people that Speckles is dying, and right now I'm keeping him comfortable at home, because I don't want to take him to an overnight emergency vet to have him die on the way there or at the vet. I want him to be comfortable until we could get him to the SPCA, because at the SPCA, at least then, it's been a few days where he hasn't been eating, so it's a little better to let him go. But people have got to stop telling me about their stories, because every cat is different. All it's doing is putting me down, all it's doing is making me sad, because I can't do anything for him, and I don't want him to live the life that I'm living. My life is crap. My life is hell on earth. Because I have to go through all this crap. And there's no way in hell that I'm going to put speckles in that. I mean, yeah, I'm still here. But I'm still in a fight. But it doesn't mean that I'm happy about it. So why would I force my cat to live a life just so I could maybe live longer and never see him again? And then... Be miserable having to give him medication, going to the vets all the time. It's not fun for the cat, and it's not fun for me, and it's not fun for whoever I, if I ever gave it to somebody. So, people have just got to stop bothering me about speckles. He's lived his life. Let him be comfortable. Let him die in peace. And that's all I have to say. I'm not debating this. And it really bothers me that I have to constantly defend myself for the choice that I made not even a week ago, and people will constantly bother me. Oh, you either got to put him down now, or you got to give him to a no-kill shelter, or you got to do this, you got to do that. No, I don't got to do anything. He's my cat. I've already put over $2,000 in speckles and Josephine. I'm still paying off debt. Speckles came from my ex. I wasn't even supposed to have Speckles. We left him here, and then I had took him in. So, Speckles has been through enough. Like I said, he's come here from Victoria. He hated that. He it took over six months to get him to get along with Hope and Josephine. He hates bets. He hates people. And can you blame him? <laughs> Not really. He's had a shitty life. So please, people, let me enjoy my New Year's. Let me stop not have to keep talking about this because it's really bothering me. And I almost really re regret saying anything. But again, a lot of people on Facebook has given me money for speckles. And I thought it's the right for them to know. So that's why I posted it on Facebook. But now I got all these people that I know that are my so-called friends and strangers going, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. No, I don't got to do anything. I've sacrificed a lot for speckles. 
So, seriously, just let him die in peace, either at home. If you want to help, pray that he'll die at home. Otherwise, like I said, I will be taking him to the SBCA. I would not make any of my friends pay $400 to get him put down. I would not do that on a holiday. <laughs> I don't want to move him from his tent because he's so comfortable. See, like, look at him. He's peaceful. He's not crying. He's not meowing. So, yeah, people just have got to back off. And then we enjoy the New Year's, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding mad and constantly repeating myself, but this is why I'm not going on Facebook anymore to read the comments or messages or anything. Only on my YouTube. That's it. I'm done with talking to people because, like I said, it's not helping me. It's making me feel worse because of the decision I made, and I'm doing what's best for Speckles. And, like I said, there's no way in fucking hell it's over my dead body that I would give speckles away to somebody else. Period. No way. No way. He's mine. So, he's my cat. He's the love of my life. Regardless, I would not give him to anyone else. So, no. Nah. He's happy. He's loved. And I'm doing the right thing. So everybody could leave us alone and enjoy New Year's. And like I said, this is the last time I'm going to talk about it until whatever happens, happens. I'm going to try to celebrate New Year's with speckles. And I hope people will just leave us alone in peace. And instead, say positive things like, oh, I hope he goes away peacefully. You made the right decision. I'm prayers with you, something, but not telling me, oh, this is what I did with my cat. This is, uh, if I did this, maybe my cat would live longer. Every cat is different. Speckles has been through enough, and I'm not going to give him to anyone, period. Period. I've had him for three years. <laughs> He's been through enough. He does not like people. Sometimes he beats me up. <laughs> Not so much now because of how he is, but he used to be very aggressive. And people do not understand that. I have trained him. I put a lot of time in him. I put a lot of money in him. And I love him to death. So, no. He's going to be with me every step of the way, regardless. So please just let me have... A good New Year's with Speckles, Josephine, and me. And stop telling me to bring him to a no-kill shelter. Because no-kill shelters are not good. They are not. Regardless of what you think, they're not good. So, yeah. Like I said, I've had three cats with me that passed away. Two at the vet. One at home. I've always had to fight for them. So, I'm straight on fighting for speckles. So, yeah. Again, sorry for my language, but I'm really pissed off. And I'm just tired. Tired of people bothering me. So, again, let us be in peace, please. And only send good positive thoughts our way or don't say anything at all. Because it's not going to help anyone. So I'll keep you guys posted about speckles because it's the right thing to do and a lot of people have helped us out. But again, I am not, I repeat, I am not giving up speckles to anybody. He's mine, I love him, and I'm doing what's best for him. You're on Fact of the Stories.